I am here to tell you to save yourself. Wrap that cape around you. Put that oxygen mask over your face. Breathe life into yourself and trying to breathe life into everybody else around you. Because you be feeling so low, so bad and going through your own turmoils, but you can always speak life into everybody else. When is somebody gonna be able to speak life into you and say, baby, wake up? Cause this ain't life. These are not the friends that you need to be around. Because if you hanging around five broke people and you the six, you need to wake up. Get some new friends, get some friends that got some money, get some friends that's about their business and not the ones that's glorifying always being broke. The Welcome, welcome, welcome to your success story. I am your girl, Nika Johnson, and I am going to help you get there. I am a credit coach and budgeting expert, and I help people take control of their money. That's right. So if this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't let it be your last, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And if you are joining again, I love to have you. Welcome back. Today, we'll be talking about how your friends keep you broke. So if you have not, we have a whole playlist about why you're broke. Sometimes it's your mindset. Sometimes it's your family. But today, we're going to dig deeper in how it's sometimes your friend. So it's time to have those uncomfortable conversations because I'm here to tell you, if you hang around five broke people, baby, you're the six. It's time to wake up and quit trying to be loyal to folks that you done grew up, that you got it out the mud with, and be loyal to yourself. It's your friends that's holding you back. It's you that want to compete with your friends and you don't even realize it. It's your friends that's always having you broke when they always ask you to go outside. When are you gonna ever ask yourself, is that in your budget? Because reality, it's not in your budget. This is why you're spending money recklessly and you're not reaching your financial goals. Have you ever told a friend that you were saving to become a homeowner that Monday and by Thursday night she asked you to go out with you? For what? That friend is no longer in, in line of who you are and what you're trying to do. That's just like, you always find out who your real friends are when you start dating, when you get engaged, when you get married, when you have a baby, when you graduate. Any major life milestones, that's going to really show you who are your real friends. Are they there just for the highs and not for the lows? Some folks, we want to be invited to a wedding and celebrate a marriage, but they can't be there to support that marriage. I don't want nobody to be at my wedding that won't be there for my marriage. During them hard times. So I'm here to tell you to wake up and take your blindfolds off and pay attention to your friends because it's okay to outgrow people, places, and things. And sometimes them people is the ones that you so-called your friends. Quit calling everybody your friends. Quit categorizing them as friends. You got colleagues, you got work associates, you got business associates, you got neighbors, you got classmates. Everybody's not your friends. Quit using the word so loosely and I need you to put some definition behind it and some value what is a friend and i'm not just talking about a facebook friend uh when you get a notification of when it's their birthday and that's the only time you know but do you really know who this person is and i'm not just talking about that surface level type stuff but do you know their favorite color if there was an emergency do you have their partner number do you have their mother number matter of fact do you call their mama mom because guess what what type of friend are you i don't know mm. Do you got they mama number? If there was an emergency, do you know who to call? I'm not just talking about friends to go out and drink and party and smoke. But who are those friends that's going to push you? Who is those friends that you could call to help with the resume or cover letter or to help you prepare for a new job? What is a friend that's going to help you when it's time to move in? You know, when we in our budget, cause we don't want to pay a moving company. We want to have everybody that we grew up with come help with a box or two and you feed them some pizza. Yeah. Who are those real friends? I'm here to tell you. Some of your traumas is holding you back from attracting real friends because you got trust issues. You can't trust everybody. No, you can't trust yourself because you lack boundaries and to be able to stand up for yourself and put people in a place because you always want to be a people pleaser. How about you be a you pleaser? Say that again. How about you be a you pleaser? What does that mean? Please you and not everybody around you. Like the shirt says, I sleep better at night when I get credit. You sleep better at night when you quit being a people pleaser. You sleep better at night when you realize that you broke and you keep being broke. You was broke yesterday. You broke today. You're going to be broke tomorrow. What are you going to do? Do you want to sleep better? 
later at night because that's what I want to do. But we just getting started, y'all. Make for sure you like, your comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And if you don't want to be broke no more, make for sure you get my ways on how to save money so I can help you in teaching you on how to truly save money. That's right. Because if you're broke, that means you ain't budgeting your way to success. And so make for sure you go ahead and shop the website and go to www.isthatinyourbudget.com. Now, while we're on the topic about how your friends keep you broke, Let's go ahead and get into it about social pressure. The social pressure of when you make more money than everybody else that you pick up the bill. Why is it that somebody else invites you out to eat, but you feel so entitled to pick up the bill because you make more money than them? It's the social pressure of always wanting to be a good friend and labeled and known as a good friend that you have unhealthy boundaries. It's the social pressure of your friend making two to three times more money than you. But when y'all go shopping, you're trying to catch up with her. This is trying to keep up with the Jones. Cause that ain't in your budget. Baby, you make $3,000 a month and your friend making $30,000 a month. Why are you trying to buy designer? Why are you taking a trip to see how much money you can spend on the weekend? Why are you buying rounds of shots? What do you have to show for for all the rounds of shots? For all my socialites that likes to drink and go out and smoke and party, how about you go look at your last 30 days bank statement and tell me how much money did you spend going out? Now ask yourself this, that same amount of money that you spent going out, did you allocate that and contribute to your savings account? Regardless if it's a regular savings, a high yield savings, if it's a retirement, what did you do? Because some of y'all out here living a life that you cannot afford and this is what's keeping you broke. Your circle of friends, this social light of want to be proceed of this luxury of this instant gratification and this entitlement of wanting a life that you can't afford yet on your race stay down till you come up you can have the house you can have the car you can have the career you can have all the accolades you can have the business the husband the family but it's all within your time so it's your friends it's your friends that telling you stay with that man knowing he ain't no goddamn good this is why you need to sit across the couch of a therapist and truly get the help because you always venting and raving to your friends when they're not skilled in this expertise. They can't help you unpack that trauma. They can't help you put it back into a box and make for sure that you are properly healing the way that you need to. But y'all don't hear me though. It's your friends that keeps you broke. Like expensive stuff, going out to dinner, going to a birthday party and a birthday dinner, no, you can't afford it and you got to shut off notice. How about you say, hey friend, right now it's tight, it's out my budget, but I would love to cook for you. I would love to do something one-on-one, -on -one, something more economic and affordable. That's all you gotta do, just speak up. It's you trying to keep up and go out of town and go on vacation that you can't really afford. Mm. Look, the pressure of your social life can be costly of trying to keep up with those in your social circle. Don't allow that to be you. Another thing that keep you broke when it comes to your friends is when it comes to gift giving. That's right. Because your friend make more money and they spend all this money on you, you feel inadequate that you have to spend the same amount. All you gotta do is be a good friend and pay attention. It's not really about the dollar amount that you're spending, but the quality of the gift of was it something that they have talked about in a conversation that happened six months ago or nine months ago and you made a mental note clarity or you jot that now in their contacts in their notes section so you could be able to go back and know how to love them and to give them gifts on based of what they really want quit trying to feel like you got to compete because you don't it's you because your friend bought you designer and spent all this money you feel that like you have to do the exact same thing and financially you may not be able to but all these things keep you broke and why does this all matter it all matters because it impacts you financially it impacts where you at right now and where you want to go so it's up to you to really and paying attention to your blinders of what's keeping you broke ultimately your friends constrain your budget and another thing that's keeping you broke is your friends that's always burning money because you the guy mom because you the best friend the bestie because you're the best friend for life. Quit always trying to be there for your friend. Quit feeling bad because she's a single parent or because she's struggling and she's trying the best that she can. We all have choices. And I always say, being born into poverty isn't a choice, but staying there is. I'm going to say that one more time. Being born into poverty isn't a choice, but staying there is. You could be born broke, but staying broke, that's a you problem. And you allowing your friends to keep you broke. When folks want to borrow $10, $20, it's not in your budget. All it's doing is enabling bad behavior, bad habits. Don't be part of that. 
don't pay that costly expense. You got friends that always call you to smoke. You got friends that always call you to drink. Friends that always call you to go out. Friends that call you out to go shopping. When the hell are they gonna call you to go to church? When are they gonna call you to let's cook dinner together? When are they gonna call you let's do a play date? When are they gonna call you to let's set up this application to go to college or to do this job? Or let's set up this time to be able to start our business. When do they ever call you about something that's positive, that's beneficial, that could help the trajectory of your life so you could be a better person instead of something that is always costly and I'm just not talking about financially but also mentally get rid of them friends that always want you to party we ain't got time for that because guess what it's not in our budget just because you make more money than your friends quit allowing them to expect that you're supposed to always foot the bill because you ever had someone knowing that you was gonna cover the cost and then they add all this extra this extra this extra that extra cheese uh extra drink that don't cook refills they add in all that they get steak lobster and everything in between but let them foot the bill they want to watch and penny pinch nah nah homie pay attention to that look no matter how much you love your friends you do not always have to rescue them you don't always have to be that saving grace because sometimes you have saved them so many times that they don't even know what to do can't think without for themselves because all they know is how to pick up their phone and call you to their rescue. But who do you have to call for your rescue? Folks is so quick to pocket watch, thinking you got money all the time and don't even know the silent financial battles that you are facing or what it is like to have money and trying to keep it. Folks are quick to borrow and slow to give back. How you living with your mama and your ass is almost 30? How you borrow from your friends, can't afford to pay them back? Look, in reality, your friends influence you that could be positive or negative and all of that can impact your pockets and why you broke. I am here to tell you to save yourself. Wrap that cape around you. Put that oxygen mask over your face. Breathe life into yourself and trying to breathe life into everybody else around you because you be feeling so low, so bad and going through your own turmoils, but you can always speak life into everybody else. When is somebody gonna be able to speak life into you and say, baby, wake up, cause this ain't life. These are not the friends that you need to be around because if you hanging around five broke people and you the six you need to wake up get some new friends get some friends that got some money get some friends that's about their business and not the ones that's glorifying always being broke the ones that want to get on with the system because they want to section in their house because they want to be too cheap to get off their lazy ass ass and go pick up a job the reality is the friends that you've been loving on and holding on to it's time to cut them toxic relationships and them ties so you no longer be broke quit going through life being broke make this show last year being broke make this show last year struggle because it's not a badge of honor to always being broke when are you going to get financially stable when are you going to get accountability partner to make you stand and firm on the things that you said that you want to achieve because right now not only is your friends calling causing you to be broke financially, but they causing you to be broke mentally. They causing you to be broke physically and spiritually. You don't have a backbone of your own to speak up for yourself and say what's right and what's wrong. Do you like being broke? Cause obviously you do. I'ma ask you one more time. Do you like being broke? If you don't like being broke, make this your last year struggling. The only person that's holding you back is you. Click down below, go browse my website, follow me on social media. There's so much free game that I don't put out there. There's no reason why that you can't take that next step. And then when you could put it in your budget and when you hire me, you making my business to make for sure you're no longer broke. You making my business to help you budget, to make for sure you're saving, to create a debt reduction strategy, to make for sure you not only got your credit together, but learn how to properly leverage it. I understand I'm not for everybody, but for those that's listening to this today's sermon about how you are broke to allow your friends to keep you broke, I'm here to tell you, let's put an end to that. It's time to close this chapter and open up a new one. Quit going through life being broke. You are worth so much more. Your life matters. You matter. If you got kids, your kids matter. Let's quit going through generation after generation of normalizing we ain't got no money. Normalizing I can't afford this. Normalizing that I gotta wait to pay that. When are you going to get up and go after it? Quit being scared. Fail for it, fail fast. You're the only one that's causing you to be broke at this moment because you allow everybody to impact you. Your decisions and your choices. You're worth so much more. I know this was a tough conversation that we had to have today, but it was one that was needed. Hug yourself and just know that whatever financial bondage that you are in, it doesn't have to be like this forever. And when you feel like you hit rock bottom, just know the only way to go is but up. Find what works best for you. I am sending a virtual hug to all of those that is watching and following me. I understand. I've been there too.
but I'm here to support you along your journey of defining your level of success. I know I got serious because you know I love hard and I'm super passionate about the work that I do. I don't want y'all to be broke no more, but you gotta make for sure you don't wanna be broke no more. And before we get out of here, I just got one question for you. Is being broke in your budget? Because if not, you better wake up and do something about it.